roads untraveled, and today we are driving a 2004 E46 330 Ci. Now, let me get this out of the way. This is the first time I've ever driven a manual transmission BMW, and uh, so far, so good. I, uh, I like the way it shifts, I like the way it feels. The good thing about these BMWs and why a lot of driving enthusiasts fall in love with them and really hook onto the BMW brand is because they really love the high revving nature of the naturally aspirated six cylinders or even eight cylinders in the case of the E92 M3. I mean, I'm a little biased coming from a turbo engine. I really like that kind of slingshot feel that you get from a turbocharger, but there's really something to be said about instant throttle response and complete predictability when it comes to getting on power when you're exiting a corner. So in terms of exterior styling, I really think the E46 chassis in particular has held up amazingly over the years. I think it looks super sleek, super modern, and um, I, I don't know, it just holds up really well in my opinion. The lines are really good. It's a classic looking BMW shape. This one has 201,000 kilometers on it, so it, it definitely has been put through its paces in terms of a driver's car, right? But uh, as expected, kind of the leather steering wheel, the leather seats, they definitely show signs of wear. Classic BMW gauges, extremely functional, awesome to look at, center console is very driver focused. It also is a six speed, which as you know, if you watched our MR, if you watched our MR2 review, you would have seen that that was kind of, not one of my complaints, but a um, kind of a point I had about the MR2 was it had a sixth gear that would just make driving it for long distances a lot more pleasurable. But this does in fact have six gears. The shifter takes a little bit to get used to, but once you do, it's a solid throw very solid feeling. I think I would definitely put a short shifter on it, for sure. Um, but other than that, clutch feels good. It is an electronic clutch. It's super easy. Incredibly easy. I don't see how anyone could stall this car. The gas pedal is floor hinged, so it is a little bit tougher to heel toe, for sure. That would definitely take a while to get used to. Alright, so am I a BMW guy, so to speak? No, I'm not. Um, as I said, this is the first manual transmission BMW I've ever driven, but in terms of styling, I love them. I've just heard horror stories about how much parts cost, um, not only in the aftermarket, but when you take it to get repaired and when things do start to go wrong. But in terms of driving, what I've felt so far, Naturally aspirated inline six starts screaming right above four grand. Oh, starting to slip a little bit on the exit. Let me know what other cars, what other BMWs you think I should get in that have similar or equal feel to this. Um, so I feel like I would really enjoy some other BMWs. I just need to know what to drive. I mean, obviously an E30 platform is something that uh, a lot of people are after. And I'd really like to drive one of those too. Again, if this is any indication of what an E46 M3 is like, but with more power, Oh man, I, can, I honestly can only imagine 100 more horsepower than this. With this throttle response, get me one of those cars. Now this isn't gonna win any, uh, any quarter mile races necessarily. Like I said, it's not the M3. But if this is what you're gonna start with, this is what you're gonna give me with a 330Ci, I will gladly consider taking a look at an E46 M3. I think just this chassis alone uh, it's something that's held up very well. It's the last of the naturally aspirated inline sixes from BMW. It's the last of an era, really. But 
uh, thanks again guys for watching this quick review of the E46 330Ci. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, those are my thoughts on the car so far. I'd really like to get in some more BMWs, kind of feel out the brand because I feel like probably one of the most iconic driving brands in history, um, especially out of Europe. So we want to hear your thoughts. Go follow us on Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook slash Worlds and Travels Show and subscribe. Go tell your friends and also put in the comments below what you think we should drive next or if you have any questions, give us those as well. Alright guys, have a good day.